Hey, what's up? David Cohen here for Learn Now FX, and welcome back to another exciting Fusion tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install LensMaster Flares. So let's get started. When you download LensMaster Flares from our website, you will get this LensMaster Flares installer.lua, and your browser might put it into a zip folder, and you will need to unzip it. But sometimes your browser won't do that. So just in case it is zipped, you will need to unzip it until you get this file. So this is actually pretty easy to do. You just drag this file from your from your file browser onto the Fusion Grid, and you need to create a Fusion composition and just drag it onto the grid. And automatically you will get this installer. So I'm just going to click Next and agree to the license. And I'm just gonna have to wait for you're gonna have to wait for a couple of minutes until the installation goes through. It might take maybe even longer. You don't need to be connected to the internet for the installation to work, but it just takes a couple of minutes. Now that the installation is complete, you will need to restart DaVinci Resolve in order to use LensMaster Flares. So before you do that, you need to make sure that you save your composition. And if you made this project especially for, um, especially for installing, that's also okay. Now by pressing this button, it's going to restart the, it's going to restart Fusion. And a little note for that is that if you're running DaVinci Resolve and you are using the Fusion page that is built into DaVinci Resolve, the restart button will only be able to close the Vinci Resolve. So prepare that this button, just be prepared that this button will close the Vinci Resolve, but it can, it doesn't have permission to open it again. If you're using standalone Fusion, it will actually shut down Fusion and then start it again. So I'm just, you can click this button and most likely you will get a little black screen for a couple seconds and then the Vinci Resolve will slowly close. If you're using Fusion 16, that black screen won't appear. I think that's a little something they forgot to forgot to hide when they were when they released the beta version of DaVinci Resolve 17. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm David Cohen, and this is Learn Now Effects.